Hi folks, this is Kirk at Shift Electric Vehicles. I'm using the phone here to quickly shoot a uh, how to set your R shunt value on the Cycle Analyst product. And uh, it doesn't matter what kind of shunt you're using. Um, in this case, it's a 50 millivolt, 200 amp shunt that we're going to use for this example. Uh, it doesn't matter the shape and size. Your shunt should have the value stamped on it for, from which you can determine the uh, the value of the shunt. We also explain how to do this on the Cycle Analyst product description page at shiftev.com. But we're not going to get into that right now. We know the value for this shunt needs to be 0.25 in the Cycle Analyst. And so what we're going to walk through is uh, powering it up, whether you do that on the bench with 12 volts like we are, or whether it's installed in the vehicle, it uh, doesn't matter. So the, the buttons on the screen obviously scroll one direction or the other through the available screens on the device. Um, when you click quickly. And what we're going to do is enter into the uh, setup menu and then the advanced setup menu and set the R shunt value there. The way we do that is we hold down the left button until we see uh, setup and when we release we are in setup mode, not advanced setup mode yet. I'm going to click to the right until we uh, get to the end of the list where it will say advanced and then I'm going to hold that left button, I mean the right button, until it says OK. When I release, we're in the advanced setup mode. I'm going to click the right button again until we get to set our shunt. That's the screen we want to edit. I am going to click and hold the right button. It says OK, and now I'm able to edit that first value. The left and right buttons simply increase or decrease in increments. So I'm going to adjust that to read 0.2, and then I'm going to hold the right button again. It says OK and moves to the next value. I want that to be 5, so we have 0.25, then I'm going to hold again to set that, and it's on the third value. I don't want to change that, so I'm just going to hold. Fourth value I don't want to change, so hold. All right, so it exited, set our shunt, and went into the next value that we can edit in the advanced menu. Uh, we don't really, setting zero amps is great. I'm just going to show you real quickly though, we can scroll through various settings, I'm just scrolling left and right with the left and right button. But I'm going to go back to zero amps because that is one that's good to reset. If we know our system is currently drawing zero amps, then if we hold down this button until it says OK, then it sets zero amps to zero with the current amount, the present amount of current flow, and then jumps to the next value we can edit. Volt sense, we don't want to edit. None of the other values we want to edit right now. So I'm going to just click the scroll button through each different value option until we get to the end of the list and it says leaving setup. So now we're back to our main screen. It's left setup. The only two values that we edited were set our shunt and zeroing our amps. And that's it. It will read correctly now uh, based on the current flow through our shunt.